won't be the whole board. Here's four. Do I know anything? Or Make them something really bad. Make them like something in the corners or something like that. Um, uh, okay. Oh, okay. So there should be minus six. Yes. Doesn't have to be minus. No, actually, that's good. Let's leave one minus. That would be good. Okay. So now. Yeah, the only thing I think you can't have is is if one mean is closer to every other point than the other mean. Then that's the only time when this is gonna fail. When one guy is all the way out here, you guess, and the other guy is here. Okay. Are you meaning like this and this? No, if you guess one mean is here. Okay. And the other mean is here. Okay. Then every point is closer to this mean. So then you kind of calculate that. So as long as you if have you guess one here and one here. Yeah. yeah. The easiest thing is you, you pick an actual point for your means. You know what I mean? No. Just pick like X one is, is the first point, and X two is is the is the second point mean and X one is the first and second point mean and X two is the second point mean. Be a good yeah. initial guess. Should I just do that? No, let's do it this way. That's fine. Okay, so now, so now you you have to now calculate the distance. Calculate the distance. Okay. From the first guess uh, and the distance from the second guess. So you're calculating the distances. So I need another guess. No, you don't need any other guesses. That's it. Now you're calculating the distances. Calculating how far this point is from from one and then how far this point is from two and whichever one is closer it gets assigned. Okay. But this is just one point, no? Yes. So you, you have to do a column here. In here? Yeah, the label is this 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 one. you calculate the distance from, from this guy here. So the distance you calculate how? You got two points, right? What's the distance between them? You got two points, right? Yeah. How long is the distance between them? Just go on one way the other. Okay. But what do I use on this? Well, you got two dimensions, right? So how do you do one minus the other? Yeah. You got like Manhattan distances, where you do x1 minus x2 and x1 minus x2 and you add them together. So it's like a block. You know, you have to walk a block and then you have to walk a block. Yeah. Okay, or you have like direct distances, you, you Euclidean distances where you go directly, so then it's like a Pythagoras theorem with a right angle triangle. You got one distance is one and the other one is the other, you square them, you add them together, you take the square root to get the hypotenuse. Yes. Okay, so that's what they normally do. Okay. So we'll draw that here. Mm -hmm. Equals. Mm -hmm. X1 mm -hmm. minus X1. Mm -hmm. Which one? Just do the distance. You're doing the first distance from the first, so you're measuring from the first guy. Okay, okay you square it. And then you add that next guy squared. You 
not to take square roots because because you're comparing these two distances, right? So if if something if square root of something is smaller than square root of another thing, then that squared is smaller than the other that other thing squared. Yeah. You know, it's like a log, same shit, right? So you don't have to. Do Why that. would I have to square it? Square root it, you then you'd know the actual no distance. Square root. Yeah, then you'd know the actual distance because you're doing the Pythagoras theorem. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? You're doing, you're doing one cut that squared plus the other cut. You could, you could take a square root, but you don't have to. Okay, now take the distance from the other. It's two or? Mm -hmm. This the thing. Mm. Well, no, you have two coordinates, right? And you have two candidates. You can either label it as one or label it as two. Label it as red or label it as blue. So you look, you, you guess the mean of the blue, you guess the mean of the red. So you're trying to figure out which one you're closer to. This mm -hmm. minus this squared mm -hmm. exactly. plus this minus this squared. Exactly. go through both of these formulas and put in the dollars at force. For the green and the brown. For the J's, yeah. Red, 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 brown. Yeah. And then for the other one too. Okay. So which one is it? Add another column. So what I what are you classifying the first point? Red or blue? Just based on the distance, mm -hmm. which one is closer? Mm -hmm. It's closer to two. Yep. So that's like a classification or something. So if mm -hmm. this is greater than this. Mm -hmm. Then well, you want to take the smaller one, so then it's a two, right? <laughs> because this one is further away. The way you wrote the if statement is a little bit weird. Why? Well, you're saying if this is greater than oh this, okay. right? You know what I mean? You, you want to do the smaller ones. You want to have smaller. If this is smaller than this, then it's a one. Doesn't matter. No, it just makes more sense to write it this way. It's, it's smaller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it's a one. Otherwise, it's a two. So this is your classification, right? Mm -hmm. So um, um, to fix the formulas under this two also. I fix them already. Okay, so drag it all down. So now you calculate the new x1. And here, uh, insert. So you have to do another one of those. So you have to do a third one. Okay. Copy the whole thing. This thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, so now, what's <coughs> your new mean of x1? Everybody that's 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 uh, classified as as uh, as one, right? Okay. And you take the average of their uh, next ones. Okay. Okay. So that's called. Uh, I don't think you have an average if you have a sum if. Sum if. 